there. How's it going? Hi. Hey. Hey, thank you very much for coming. Sorry, I was just getting a little jog in. No, it's all it's okay. But uh thank you for coming. It's really it's nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. And uh let me just pick this up. You know, it always comes back when I get here. I don't get to take a sip. It all spills out with that. Oh, that one sip that you get. Oh. That's the best. Come on in. Let me show you around. My name is Jerry Hoff. H-O-P-F-F. -F -F. Second F for fun. <laughs> I'm the principal at Dun Saney Charter High School. Dun's for short. Go Bears. And uh, we're in a situation where... Um, we only have room for one elective, and uh, we've got some great candidates lined up, and uh, I'm, I haven't been this excited in a long time. I'm excited that you're here, I'm excited that we are going to bring on new people, and uh, I'm just excited. The big problem with education these days is, uh, huh. dunce rolls. <laughs> what did I, oh, uh, what did I teach? Uh, I, uh, I am a professor of um, human bird calling. Uh, no, it's human bird calling. A lot of people, they are the type of people who are interested in bird calls. And that is something that is just wonderful. I am not one of those people. I am more of a person bird call expert. I uh, can identify humans doing bird calls and I can mimic them. An example, <laughs> I'm a little past my prime now. Now that I'm principal, I, I haven't, I haven't dabbled for huh, probably coming up on six, eight years. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm not good. When I'm not, uh, principaling it up, uh, what am I doing? Uh, I love to play the ukulele. And uh, if I'm not playing my ukulele, well, you saw me, I was jogging. I'm a big fan of, you know, staying, staying in shape. I mean, if people are going to be looking to me, I need to make sure that, you know, they see a trustworthy body. Um, oh, I love to grill pumpkins. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. I started grilling pumpkins, I would say maybe eight years ago, something like that. And um, yeah, I was with a human bird caller friend of mine and he said, have you ever had um, pumpkin on the grill? And uh, I hadn't, so I tried it and I haven't looked back ever since. <laughs> what is the thing that I love most? I would say it has to be my dogs. I often go in the backyard and just play the ukulele with them and they absolutely adore me. They are what gets me through. On, okay. Uh, so what we're doing here uh, is, uh, well, we have an elective opening and we have a lot of great candidates. And what we're looking for is, um, yes, a teacher, but uh, more than a teacher, what we need is an inspirer. I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit and I've inspired a person or two in my day. So uh, I, I believe that I'm the right man for the job. So we're gonna hear from all the candidates, we're gonna have interviews, and uh, this lost elective will be found. Is that on? Oh God, I can't see. Hey John, do you know how to work this phone? Hello, uh, my name is Lois Allen. And I teach English at Dunce High School. My English course is important because we speak English every day. And you have to know how to speak English good. Because if you don't, then you can't. So my hobbies include punching trees and throwing things at trees and breaking things. I also enjoy writing poetry and short stories. Oh, how did I lose my ear, you say? See, I was walking through woods on a beautiful day just like these, and I stepped on a little baby bird and killed it. 
and its mother, understandably, was very angry with me, and she bit my left ear off, as you can see. She could have just bit my finger off. I could live without my finger. Of course, I live strong as ever, as you can see. Hello, students. It is I, Mr. Allen. Today, uh, the administration has decided to record my class to see if I am fit to teach. For today's assignment, we will be writing original poetry and poems and such. I will read to you one of my original poems just so you know what you must do. Eggs, bacon, waffles, oh wait, that's my grocery list. To be or not to see, an original poem by Lois Allen, that's me. Shakespeare makes me spear my bacon. Shakes, I can't see anymore because a spear is in my eye and in my bacon. Shakes, goodbye. An original poem by Lois Allen. That's me again. This will be due by tomorrow at 1 a.m. Good luck and goodbye. Please don't fire me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sharon Pace, and as you know, I teach the Bug Finding 101 course. I firmly believe that my course is incredibly important to the student body because it helps them to want to investigate the world around them and find these wonderful, wonderful critters. This is my assistant Samuel. Would you like to say a couple words about yourself? My name's Samuel, and um, I'm her brother. How many and, uh, times? Oh, uh, sorry, I I'm her assistant. You know, even my free time revolves around these critters. I often make little sweatshirts for them because they often get cold. Um, it's a very delicate process. Oh my god, already! But I find that it's very rewarding. We have a worm. Oh my god! And some little roly-polies. This is amazing. That's Bobby Brown and that's Julie. They're my pride and joy. I thought I'd also introduce um, my other pride and joy, Jeremy. He also is very intelligent and seems to understand English. Jeremy, yes, you are a very good boy. Yeah, you see that little, little twitch there? I think, I think he definitely understood that. I'm sorry Jeremy's so unresponsive, but it's probably because of uh, the incident. A, another professor, who shall go nameless, but I will say he teaches the psychological arts. He stepped on one of his brothers. Jeremy hasn't just hasn't been the same since. I mean, Drew is the least deserving of a department in music. Take um, take Beethoven, for example. He's a wonderful man. He actually gave piano lessons to Julie and uh, Bobby Brown. He's incredibly talented and is actually deserving of his position. Hello, my name is Andy Sanchez, and I graduated from the University of Wisconsin in 1998 with a degree in Normalcy. I teach several courses here at Dunce, the first being Normalcy for Beginners. I also teach Advanced Normalcy, Normalcy for the Normally Challenged, and AP Normalcy. I look forward to normally seeing you every day. The first lesson I teach when a student takes Normalcy 101 is how to spot an abnormal person. So here I've collected a number of specimen from the internet. I will show examples of, of them. So here's the first example. Now, you can clearly see that this person is abnormal because they're wearing a hat with a bathroom sign on it for the male bathrooms. Their hair is also clearly not normally that color. They seem to be wearing contact lenses. Next. This is probably one of the worst examples of an abnormal person I've ever come across. This mustache is clearly not real. It is time 
we return normalcy back to the classroom. Last but not least, what do you notice about this man? That's right, black suspenders. Suspenders went out of fashion in the 40s. So why are people wearing suspenders when they could just as easily wear a belt? I've seen enough here. Um, hello, my name is Phil Kopowitz. Um, my students call me Mr. P, and I am a teacher of the psychological arts at the Dunst School. What nobler cause, what nobler elective could you have than just the teaching of the world around you and the world inside yourself? And, and, and my students, they're just, well, they were so engaged, but oh, this distance learning is hard on everybody. But regardless, it's so important to just learn about yourself and the world around you, and what better way to do that than with the psychological arts? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've deviated from the standard curriculum a bit, and right now we're entering a unit about the feelings of plants. Now, I know it's crazy. Hear me out. There was a study done by um, uh, lots of scientists, and they confirmed it. Plants have feelings. They hook them up to polygraphs. I'm just trying to teach my students to have respect for that. This is my little princess. Her name is Moonbeam. She makes everybody happier. Oh, Moonbeam, stop it! So, students, this is a uh, rescue that I brought. Uh, my neighbor decided to just not take care of it. So, uh, of course, I had to pick up the slack. I don't know their names yet. I'm working on that. It's a class assignment. You know, in the psychological arts, we have to search deeper into ourselves and into other living beings. So I would just ask you to write one page paper on the pain that this plant is feeling to better understand the organisms we live with. See you next week. Is it going? Well, you should have told me that. Hi, my name, you don't need to know my name, but I'll tell you, because I'm a nice and courteous person. My name, it's Dr. Joe Schmingle. I know, it's a very lovely name. Really rolls off the tongue. Schmingle, Schmingle. I am a teacher here at Dunn's High. I teach a whole whole group of things. I am a conservative arts teacher. Now, you, I'm sure you've heard of you know, liberal arts, but mine is uh, much more different. I, I teach how to give a good handshake. I teach, you know, fishing 101. I teach real, real, Important things every man should know. Being a teacher with someone with views such as myself is almost the perfect job. I get to yell at people. I get to be mean. Name one person this side of the Mississippi that can give a better handshake than me. You can't, you can't, you cannot. Being on this documentary, uh, it has been a real honor. Uh, I really like documentaries. I think I've watched every single one. I mean, I know I'm not going to be the one that gets cut. I teach necessities that people need to survive in life. And I hope the new teacher understands me, because not a lot of the teachers here do. Oh, we're rolling. Uh... Hi, I'm Eugene Weinberg, and I teach history. Oh no, his head fell off. You know, some people ask, hey, Mr. Weinberg, isn't Lego just that children's toy? So that's why I say no, and ha. Lego is beautiful. It is an art form as much as clay and paint and it can be used for a wide variety of solutions and various uses, such as a triceratops. Many historical events can be reenacted through Lego. San Francisco. Earthquake. Great Wall of China. Invasion. Triceratops. I'm not actually going to destroy it. This one's my favorite, and I love him. So, in conclusion, I teach history with Lego.
it's effective. Hello, my name is Bob Van Beethoven, and I teach um, intro to piano uh, and multiple piano courses at Dunn's High School. I um, help my students learn the piano and learn simple courses, simple hand movements, and certain just structure on developing them and their musical career. People always ask me, was your name always Beethoven? Are you really related to him? And I always tell them, yeah, of course. Only talent like me would be descended from the one and only, my role model. But to be honest, I, it was not always Beethoven. It, my name used to be Bob Smith. And I, it just didn't really settle well with me. It was a very boring name and I really just couldn't take it. So I changed it when I was 23. I really am happy with my new lifestyle and do not regret my decision. I honestly believe that I am the most important person in this music department. I mean, we got Triangle Lady and we got Scatman. I think that my importance in this building is pretty great and astronomical compared to the other into my colleagues. I don't want to talk trash about my colleagues, but it, I'm just saying, know your place. Yeah, I believe that me and Sharon are going pretty strong. She really enjoys um, my music. She really, and I don't mind her bugs at all, and her insects are various insects. I find it actually very interesting. Oh, hello, my students. I didn't see you there. How are you doing on this fine evening? <sighs> Sorry about that. If you expect to do well in life, and you have picked this elective, I'm sure you're practicing at least an hour and a half every day. Skip a little math if you need to do. I can talk to the teacher. Skip a little triangle. Yeah, I hope you are doing your work, and lovely evening. Mr. Principal, I'm Drew Reynolds. I teach international scat. Skibbity woo, bye a do do die a do do do. I live in on a bridge. Don't look at me like that. Did you just ask what I'm where? I'll come for you. Do you see this? Do you see this? I'm sorry. Jesus. Do you think I want to look like this? He thinks I want this. So did Sharon. Sorry, the badgers were getting angry. Why should kids take my class? <laughs> I need the money. Give me that, give me that moolah. See these boots? I stole them from a hobo. His name is Jeff. Yeah, I see you. You're bridging nothing. Jeff? Jeff, why? No, no. Jeff took my boots. Oh actual reasons uh if you want to learn scat in spanish french or russian i'm your guy cs me s yo <laughs> i'm so upset didn't give me my kids back sharon oh she used to inspire me and then she took my kids 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 Wait a minute. Julie Bobby Brown, Beethoven, Severin, and Beethoven. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting emotional. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Jeff took my socks. <laughs> That is the sound of true musicianship, art, and skill. I'm Carlene Crawford, and I teach Introduction to Triangle at Dunce High School. My course is beyond important for enriching students' understanding of music around them. I've been wanting to be head of the music department here for 23 years. You know how many years I worked in this building? 23 years. Out of all of the courses, I'm the teacher that takes this the most seriously.
You got the scat teacher down there going yada da doo ba doo, and you're supposed to tell me that's music? And the other man, bless his soul, he thinks he's Beethoven. That's simply not a serious music teacher. I think they should really consider me making head of the music department here. I got a level head on my shoulders. I got a good education in music. Good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Crawford. Today's lecture is going to be recorded so I can show the principals what you lovely young bright minds are learning down here in Introduction to Triangle. Today we're going to be learning how to silence the triangle. Making beautiful music is one of the amazing things that this instrument can do, but you need to know how to silence it. It's crucial to stop for the rest. You're going to start with a resounding pitch and grab the triangle by the top to gently muffle the sound. That's going to be all for today's lecture. I hope you take good notes, and I hope you all ace the quiz that's coming up on this Friday on Silence in the Triangle. one here okay i'll just wait around hi hey how's it going it's going good how are you um just really hope i don't get cut um the economics haven't been good recently and hello hello oh, hello is this thing oh you too you don't have to sharon. say it like that every time sharon here he goes Sharon face, more like Sharon face, is ugly, is ugly. This is so unprofessional. Beethoven, more like Bob. Hey, don't talk to me like that. This is in a professional environment. We're trying to keep calm here. You're the one who disrupted our marriage. Okay, that's way out of line. Hi, okay. are you here for the uh, uh, faculty meeting? Thank God. Yes. Yes. Oh, great. I'm in my office right now. Oh, it's in. Yeah. I'm in my, I'm in my Wait, office. Have, have you ever like seen at, my office before? Like at home in your office? Yeah, in my, in my, in my office at home. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's okay. Uh, I just had this meeting I have to go to. Someone is going to kick gut. Uh, honestly, au revoir. I know it's not going to be me. Oh, Hi. Hi, what was that? Um, uh, my, my mom actually died. I'm glad um, to see other people showed up to this meeting early. Hello. How's your head injury been, Bob? Carlene, it's, it's not that bad as you would think it is. I, Carlene, please. It's not a brain injury. I just, it's just a little. Just so a you're little... responding to your name now? You're responding to Bob? That's progress. I'm proud of you. Carlene, I do not go by that name anymore. You, we've been in this building for a long time, and I assume that you would know that I don't go by that anymore. You're and off your rocker if you think you're Beethoven. Mm-hmm. Very true. Carlene, stir the pot. Mm -hmm. Come on. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, I think Beethoven is a very flattering name. Oh, yeah. Sharon, very quick, too. Respond. Thank you, Sharon. Glad to see your ex-husband is still... Snappy. What? Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Bob Beethoven. I have a question for you. It's just Beethoven. It's just Beethoven. Is, is your name legally changed yet? Um, yeah, I actually changed it 20 years ago. I just, I really don't want to, I'm really uncomfortable talking about this, if I must. Um, it used to be Bob Smith, but it was just a really boring name for me. I had to get that changed. It, it was not a good time for me, so. Interesting. So Sharon Smith. Hmm. Gross. You know, I would really like the principal to get here so we can just stop this. This is so unprofessional. Yeah. And yes. someone's going to get cut today. <laughs> what? 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 Huh? What's going on? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just woke up. Uh, it's, been, it's been a long couple of days. Uh, I just, I, I've lost, I lost my center a little bit. Uh, this, this whole thing is very, it's very stressful. You disgust me. 
Whoa. You have had to stay home and do literally nothing productive and you're exhausted. I do you know, very many things that your are very whole productive. your whole generation is a bunch of lousy people who want to do nothing and get paid. My oh, listen, you know what? I think I think we all just I think we all just need to relax. I'm just gonna Oh my god. Feel the music oh, slow. That is not music. I, can't um, I agree. That's not music. Very opening. Very opening. Rap and roll. Fine, 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 fine. If you all just want to be angry and and awful to each other, that's that's fine. That's I fine. think that's perfectly preferable, actually. Mr. Kapowicz, can you explain where my peach tree went? Um, first of all, it's um, it's Kapowicz. It's it's Kapowicz. And um, second of all, you weren't taking care of it. I was taking care of it. It was gonna grow the biggest peach that's ever grown in Pennsylvania. Where is it? I, look at him. His leaves are so, oh, they're browning. It's dying. Of course it's dying. You have to take better care of it. And Aren't it, you the one taking care of it now? You're yeah. killing my tree. I'm taking very good care of your tree. Don't worry, I know what it's feeling. I know that it's in pain and I'm fixing it. You know it's in pain? Really? Listen, I don't know how many times I have to explain it to you people. It was a scientific study. They hooked plants up to phonographs, and when they slapped them, the device went wiggity-woo. It's interesting, Starin, that you can't understand feeling pain. I understand perfectly feeling pain. Thank you very much, Drew. Tell that to my landlord. Hey, has anyone seen my teaching stick? I haven't, um, I misplaced it back when we were in quarantine, well, before quarantine, and... You mean... This one. Oh my God. Oh uh huh. My God. Oh my God. Whiplash. Just give it a rest. Oh. Does anyone know when uh, the principal's gonna get here? Cause I really need to go cut my grass. I think it's gonna be you, Eugene. You know. Uh, e Eugene, you're you're on. Yeah, yeah. Eugene, buddy, we're we're in the meeting. We can see you. The whole we're we're all gonna get cut meeting. Oh, oh, hello! Oh, I've saved the earth. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Uh, Gerald. Uh, morning. It's so nice to see you all. Can you see me okay? Um, um no, not really. A little, perfect. Just perfect. A little, little down there. Uh, oh, I, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not a technology guy. <laughs> uh, there we go. We, okay. we know, we know, we know. Let's put it so we can see everybody. All right. Hey, hello, everybody. Now I can see you. It's so nice to see you, and thank you so much for your submissions. Do we have Mr. Allen here? It's important that he's here. Hello? Is this, is this on? Uh, I, I, I think that it's on. Yes, we can you? hear you, Mr. Allen. How are you? Oh, hey, I'm good, thanks. Seems like you might be on a, bit, a little bit of a, of a delay. Yeah. I'm Don't even worry here. about it. Everybody, everybody... Uh, <laughs> Everybody's okay. Don't even worry about it. So, um, I, uh, we all know why we're here, and uh, I can't thank you enough for your, for your very heartfelt submissions, and you all are, have been very good friends for a long time, so I know that this is difficult for you. In fact, I often think about how my truly best friends are the people with whom I work, and I'm sure that you feel the same way. So why don't we just take a second and, and, just, and just tell, our, tell each other that we just, we appreciate one another. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> well, uh, Nativity seems to appreciate us too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure he does. Um. Well, you know, I would like to uh, say there are three people I respect in this world. Number one is God. Number two, Richard Nixon. <laughs> Number three, Andy Sanchez. Everyone else can go die. Whoa. Ooh. 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 Okay. I like you really oh hard God. back. Jesus and Buddha, Buddha had like one thing in common and it was love your fellow people. So you know what? You need to stop preaching you. about how much you love creatures when you stepped on it my It was one toy. worm, Sharon. It was one worm. He I has never been the same. 
Okay. Oh my so God. I, don't even. There's do a not, little bit of do not not get started with so, okay. worms. Um, yeah. So we appreciate each other just in very, very different ways. And that's what makes us great. All right. So I guess, um, I guess, drum roll, huh? I guess, it, it, should we go? Should we do it? Should we, should we get on with, uh, with the results? Yes. God, you're a moron. Go ahead. Great. I, I'm very excited. Um, is there anything that anybody would like to say, you know, just as a, as a, last last word or anything uh yes yes sir um what would you yes uh i would like to say because of this whole interaction you know i now instead of three people i think i now have respect for four still god still richard nixon still andy sanchez but last but not least ronald reagan are you and andy like dating or something Okay. No. Don't, don't, don't. It's okay. If you two are dating, that's totally fine. We I accept support. everything here. Okay. Okay. No, absolutely I've not. I've always promoted dating among staff. Dating among staff is what really brings a staff together. And this I staff totally is agree. a perfect example of that. And I thank you for that. Totally agree. All right. Well, uh, let's go. Let's, let's. Um, I can't believe they found out about so, me. Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen, you uh, no longer are employed at Dunce. Oh, he's cutting out. Uh, he's kind of cutting in and out. Um, could you could you hear what what we're saying, uh, Mr. Allen? You you no longer are employed with with Dunce. I know I'm employed at what? Is this okay? Is this an ear thing? Is this is can he not hear? Is this the I, I, I know Peloponnesian sign language. Uh, 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 you, no work, building. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, allow me, allow me to, to take my, my shot. Okay, Mr. Schmigel. Van Gogh, get out. You don't have a job. Hey. No job. Hey, you can't be saying those kinds of things. It's not like he can hear me. He totally just heard you. Yeah, that's, that's rude. Uh, he Mr. heard you in his own kind of delayed way. Mr. Allen, uh, you, you've missed two things. Uh, one, you're no longer employed here, and two, uh, Mr. Schmigel called you Van Gogh, which is which, uh, a pretty funny joke. <laughs> Wait, he's actually, uh, he, he's missing one more thing, uh, his ear. Let's, let's avoid name calling, okay? It's okay, okay, tell you what, this, this has gotten a little bit difficult and uncomfortable, so how about we just fire Drew? Yes. yes, I'm here yes. for it. That works, that works. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is this. I am going to go, my dogs are calling me, and uh, I, um, I will see you all on Monday at our next meeting. Thank you all very, very much for coming. Okay, see you. Thanks, yeah. Thank so you. Keep trying to get on my respect list.